Okay, I basically want to go through the heart and the flow of oxygenated and well, that went weird. oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. Okay, so basically let's do like some type of background. So the heart is pumping blood. Now, um, we can go into the specifics in another video, but right now we're just going to focus on deoxygenated and oxygenated. So um, the, the blood is um, pumped from the left side of the heart outwards through the, through the aorta um, into the body. So when we're talking about body, we're talking about the heads and the arms and then we're talking about blood also flowing through the liver, genitals, kidneys, small intestine, yeah and I think some more stuff but those stuff. Now if the blood is flowing to so many organs, obviously the blood is going to lose energy. But what I mean by energy now, I mean oxygen. Because blood, the heart has to deliver oxygen to all these different organs. So if it has to deliver to the, the liver, the kidneys, the genitals, the arms, the head, um, it's going to lose the oxygen. So when it does lose the oxygen, it becomes deoxygenated blood. And that's sometimes shown on the diagram as being blue because, you know, when somebody... Have you ever seen it when somebody turns blue and dies? <laughs> when they lose oxygen? Um, yeah, that happens. That can happen. Now, um, because it becomes deoxygenated blood, it needs to return back to the heart, which is the base. And because it's gone from the left um, side of the heart, um, through the aorta, we're talking about going all the way back into the right side of the heart. Now, it passes through the right side of the heart. Again, the technicalities we'll go through in a different video. But it passes through the right side of the heart. So, from the right side of the heart, it will pass into the pulmonary artery. Now, through the pulmonary artery, it doesn't go to all the organs. It just cares about one organ, and that one organ is the lungs. So the blood passes through the pulmonary artery and goes to the lungs. And if you think about when you breathe in and oxygen goes into your lungs, yeah, through some complicated network, which we will go into another time, but you breathe in and it fills up your lungs. So the blood is going to the lungs to get that oxygen so that the oxygen can diffuse across the lungs into the blood. Now, when the blood picks up that oxygen, it's going to want to rush it straight to the left side of the heart. Why? Because the left side of the heart needs that oxygen to go to the body parts, to go to the heads, the arms, um, the liver, the genitals, the kidneys, whatever. It needs that oxygen to do that. So, that is the cycle of um, oxygenated and deoxygenated blood. And in case you miss, miss that, let's recap. So, it all starts in the left side of the heart. Um, the left side of the heart flows oxygenated blood through the aorta into the head and arms and into the, the liver, um, small intestine, the kidneys, the genital parts. Because it's so exhausted, I, I, wanna, I view it as exhausted, um, well, or the oxygen has been exhausted, it loses all of that oxygen to these organs and becomes deoxygenated blood. Because it's deoxygenated blood, it needs to travel back to the base, and the base is the heart. So it travels back into the right side of the heart, and from the right side of the heart, it flows into the pulmonary artery. Pulmonary artery has one job, get the blood to the lungs. <laughs> so flows through the pulmonary artery, all the way to the lungs or the lung capillary to be specific um, where it becomes oxygenated blood this oxygenated blood can then go back to the left um, side of the heart where it can be used to be pumped out into the into the head the arms the liver the genitals you get the gist um, 
yeah, the cycle of oxygenated and deoxygenated blood, basically.